So you're at a gig and you've just set up. Wouldn't it be cool if you could live stream that gig from your mixer straight away? Then also what you'd like to do is not actually have the controls on the speaker that's all the way over there, but have it right in front of you without having to bend down or walk over to the speaker. And I also want to record the audio as well, so we could use that for later, maybe match that audio up to the video of the live stream so it's got a really good sound. Oh, I'd like a looper as well. And I want it battery powered so I don't have to plug in. Can it be 400 watts and last for 12 hours? I just wish someone had made a speaker like that. Well, they have and it's Mackey, and it's called the Showbox. And it's right here. And it's portable, and it's battery powered, and it's got a mixer that you can take off, and I'm gonna show you all in this video. So this is the Mackie Showbox, it's an 8 inch speaker with a 1 inch uh, tweeter at the top and uh, 400 watts, 350 at the bottom, uh, 50 at the top uh, with a crossover and then this breakaway mixer. Now what you're hearing right now is actually the USB-C, there's a black cable just going there and that's the USB-C going from the, bo the box straight into my phone. Um, so you could use this for live streaming and then what you're about to hear now is the SD card recording, because I've got the SD card recording at the same time. You just press the button here to record, and then you We've got six inputs plus Bluetooth, which you can also double up on inputs five and six as well, so you can use them both together. There's also an effects loop on here, and there's a send and return on the back as well. So if you've got a pedal board, you can plug it in, no problem. You also heard me use the looper with the foot pedal, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn all the effects off, so now what you're hearing is just the flat sound, as it were, without the effects. Uh, and this is great because, of course, if you're talking to an audience in a coffee bar, uh, or if you're wanting to speak in between songs, or someone wants to make an announcement, you can turn all the effects off just by pressing the foot pedal. Now, the foot pedal and the bag are additional, but what you do get with just buying the Showbox is you get the Showbox, you get the breakaway mixer, and you get the cable as well, and this little attachment that attaches the breakaway mixer to a mic stand or any stand. This means I've got complete control um, wherever I am, and I know it's a bit windy today, so we've put the uh, windsock on the mic. If you're out busking, this will last for 12 hours, or up to 12 hours. Obviously, if you've got it a full pelt, it'll be a little bit less than that. But with a simple micro SD card, you can plug it in, hit record right here. I can press stop and then just hit record again, so you could record per song. And if you're recording with a phone or you're live streaming with the phone, then that means that you've got best of both worlds. You're live streaming, so it goes out to the world. But then afterwards, you could use the SD card audio and then match that up to the video so you've got better sound to repurpose your content. The nice thing is you heard me with the looper there. So the looper is also connected to this foot switch. So this one here. But the other thing as well is you've actually got a dedicated loop level. So as I press it now, I can adjust it accordingly. And it's a double tap to stop. The mixer is connected through a Cat5 cable. And what I'm gonna do is, whilst we're live right now, I'm just gonna disconnect it. So once I disconnect it, nothing actually happens at the speaker. It's just sending information. So if you were to disconnect it and reconnect it back to the speaker, it'll just light up again, uh, but it's not affecting the sound unless you plug it in and then make a change. So as I plug it in now, it just lights up. And then of course, I'm able to change things on the fly. That's massive because you could actually maybe take it off the stand, unconnect it, give it to someone else so they can mix you whilst you're performing. The SD card and the USB-C are actually coming out as a stereo mix. So you can't get the individual mixes from every single channel, but this is a performance all-in-one rig. For me personally, all these things are an absolute added bonus. While it's standing on the floor right now, it's actually just slightly edged back by a couple of degrees, and then it's a 45 degree angle if you put it into wedge mode. On the bottom, you've got a standard speaker stand connection if you want to completely elevate it up and with its single handle it's actually really easy to lift so we've come indoors because yeah april in the uk it's always unpredictable so let's have a closer look at this speaker first of all 
you can see the size of it and it's not that big at all. It's also not that heavy. Weighing just 9.5 kilograms or 20.9 pounds, it's easily movable, and that's why Mackie also sell that bag, which I'll show you later. It's 500 millimeters from top to bottom and 300 millimeters across. The depth is 249 millimeters at its widest point, which is this side where the mixer is. Now, as we stand it up this way, it is slightly tailed back, as I said before. And then also, if I was to move it round onto this side into its wedge position, we can even turn our little logo around. Now, when we turn the speaker on, the mixer is actually connected. Therefore, what happens is it's workable right here. So if you had it in a wedge environment, maybe you've got it raised, you just want it here, that's fine. We can control everything here, no problem at all. And you can see we just go channel one, and then we've got channel two, channel three, channel four, and then five and six. Each one has a gain and a volume control. You've got your three band EQ here. We've got compression, and also we've got two effects. You've also got a tuner, and you've also got snapshots. What you can do is you can actually make a snapshot view of what you've got to remember it for next time. The last one here is the effects loop. Now, the other thing is this side. So you can see right now the SD card record is green. If I just tap it once, it actually starts recording. Now, I'm not plugged anything in right now. It's just recording zero, but then we can just stop it again. And then it saves that as a file name. It's a stereo out. So therefore, whatever is coming out, the sum of everything is recorded there. We've got our headphone dial and our loop level dial. And then you've got the loop here. So if you don't have the foot switch, you can press it manually. It is a record, play and overdub. There is no undo or me do, unfortunately, but there is a silent clear, which is very, very useful. And then we've got the main out. It's the main out. We've got the battery level indicator here. We've got the main out here. And then we've got a mute, which is really useful where if you're going to unplug things or plug things back in, we can mute the whole PA. Now, as I said before, the speaker is currently on and I can break this mixer away. So I've taken it away and then obviously put the Cat5 cable in. So if we do that right now, and then you've got on the back here, these are the connections for plugging it onto the stand, the little mic stand adapter, which you get with it. And then you've got the Cat5 connection here. The other connection you have as well is you've got USB-C power. So you can actually charge, say, a phone if you've got on your stand for lyrics you can charge it from here, which is great. Now, while the speaker's going, I can still plug this in and it won't affect the speaker whatsoever. So you can have the speaker switched on and then of course you can make your adjustments. Let's now have a look at the back and have a look at those connections themselves. So starting with, you've got your front LED light there. So if we actually turn that off, you'll notice that the LEDs at the front here switch off and then we turn it back on and they come on. I quite like them, but if you turn them off, Mackie call that stealth mode. Next, you've got feedback elimination. And of course, you can turn this on if you're in an environment where you're going to get bounced back off the walls, maybe in a very small coffee house, or you've got in a situation where you're in front of the speaker, you can use feedback elimination there. You just switch it on and it works. Outdoor mode makes the lights brighter, so you can see it, which is fantastic. And then you've got two kinds of modes for the speaker itself. So you've got amp mode and you've got PA mode. Amp or amplifier mode is actually the default where the light is off. And this is optimized as a busking instrument amplifier. It changes the EQ curve. So the EQ curve at the moment is currently around the mids and the highs and optimized around vocals and guitar. So the LED is not lit in amp mode. If we switch over to PA mode, and we turn this on, it changes the frequency curve within the speaker. And this is a great option, say you've finished playing and we just need to play some music through um, your phone or an MP3 player, you turn it over to PA mode and that would work really, really well. So PA mode, I would probably say if you're using it for DJing or using it for karaoke, that's the way you'd use it. And then amp mode is predominantly for musicians and buskers. Now just above those four, you've actually got the charging status. So while you're having it plugged in, you can just plug it in via the normal lead. It'll actually charge the battery as well. And if it's got a flashing light, it's charging. And if it's a solid light, it's fully charged. Next, we've actually got our connections here to the outer world, as it were. So you've got a USB type C here. So you could plug in a phone like we did earlier, or I could plug this into a computer and this is the audio interface. So we could record on the go or we could do live streaming. There's the Cat5 connection, obviously plugging in the breakaway mixer. And we've got our SD card here, so I can just pop that straight out and that will work straight away 
no problem. Just remember to format the SD card correctly before you start using it, otherwise the breakaway mixer actually flashes on the SD card, it flashes green, basically to say, it's either full or it's not formatted in the right way. You do need to format it via a computer. Then we got onto the connections themselves, and this really has been set up in a kind of musician's type way. So connection one is XLR and connection two is jack. Connection three is XLR and connection four is jack. So instead of being one and two here, it's one and three and then two and four. Your five and six is two monos left and right. So maybe a keyboard, but you've also got an OGS in as well. And that is channel five and six. And you've got Bluetooth. So if you've got a phone that's playing backing tracks through Bluetooth, you can pair it here and that's five and six as well. Just be aware with a lot of devices of the volume coming in through OGS and Bluetooth, obviously is separate from the volume out through the mixer. Then, which is really cool, you've actually got a send and return effects, so external effects. If you've got things like a pedal board, you could plug that into here, and then you're actually sending and returning your information straight away. So for example, if you're an electric guitarist and you use an amp, and then you suddenly hit the distortion, it's not gonna distort the whole thing through the speaker by using your send and returns. You've then got a foot switch, which you saw me use earlier, and that is actually a TRS connection. So if you've already got a TRS foot switch, you can use the two-step foot switch. One connection is for the looper, and the other connection is for turning the effects on and off. The final two connections you've got is you've got headphones, and we do have a dedicated headphone volume on here as well. And then we've also got an XLR mix out. So if you've got another one of these, you could actually send that out by XLR to another speaker. And then finally, you've got your on-off switch, and you've got your power connection. Now, I've just taken the front panel off just to show you the actual speaker itself. So just to show you this, this is the eight inch uh, cab. This is an eight inch woofer with ferrite and the high frequency is a one inch, 25 millimeter polymer compression driver. Now the frequency response for this thing is actually different depending on obviously the volume. So at minus 10 dB, it's from 48 Hertz to 20 kilohertz. And at minus three dB, it's 55 Hertz to 20 kilohertz. Now the SPL max on this is 122 decibels and you have a horizontal coverage of 90 degrees and a vertical coverage of 60 degrees. Now from sounds over to effects. And we've actually got different effects depending on what bank you're using. So I'm just moving this over to this camera so you can see it a bit clearer. We actually have a compression on pretty much every one, apart from five and six. If you go into it, it doesn't actually do anything. But you've actually got compression on one, two, three, and four, and you can bring up as much as you need. Now that's first in the chain before you even get to the effects. And effects, we've actually got two. We've got effects one here and effects two there. So to activate one of the effects, what you need to do is give it a click and then you can see it flashing. And then what you can do is you can scroll through the different effects. On preset one, you've actually got 12 different effects. And the nice thing is the manual goes through what the effects are, but also their use cases, which is really nice. And then the second one actually has 16 different effects. They're slightly different depending on what you're using it for. So you give it a click and then you can adjust the amount. So there's none on right now. If we were to actually just move it over to the small plate, you can see where it is before you select it and before it goes live. And then when you give it a click, it's live and you can adjust the amount there. Now that is effective on channel two right now. If I go to channel one, it'll switch over. So we've got small chorus and none. And the great thing is you can actually hold this down and then this does what's known as a snapshot. So then it makes a snapshot to go, that's how I'm saving it. So you boot it back up and it's gonna be the same. If you hold this one down, you're actually gonna get the tuner. And a tuner is a really, really handy thing to have. Some acoustic guitars don't come with them pre-installed or maybe you've got one of the ones that clip on, you forgot it. This has got one built in. So who is this speaker for? Well, myself for starters. Any solo musician who is going into a small venue or you're going into busking, coffee houses or small venues that need a speaker themselves uh, that they can plug any musician into. You could use this in worship services, you could use this in conferences because you can plug in multiple things and then someone else can actually mix it for you. With social media being so important now when you're coming to performing, being able to Plug in and play with some effects and a looper, that's one thing. Being able to have a mixer in front of you, that's another. This is battery powered, that's a third. But having that SD card and having the USB-C on the back to do things like record yourself, record the video and sync it up, or live streaming, this is a speaker for a whole new generation of musicians. Now, although it's got so many features, 
because of those features, there are two things that I would like to see improved. Item number one is the looper. The looper doesn't have an undo or a redo. In today's market of adding a looper, I think that's really important. I use an undo and a redo to actually take harmonies away and then bring them back for the chorus. It's not a deal breaker, but it certainly would be a nice improvement. The second one though, is one where I've just thought, why didn't they think of this? The USB-C on the back is an audio interface and that's fantastic and I've used it, you heard it in the review here, but it doesn't actually send power out to the device, it only sends audio. It'd be really nice if it sent power out to say the iPhone so it could charge the phone whilst it's running. However, there is a USB-C power outlet on the breakaway mixer but then that doesn't send audio. So these two are not born equal, and this one doesn't send power, and this one doesn't send audio. I'd actually like it so they both did the same, because it would be really nice to actually plug my phone in from there and put my phone on the mic stand or somewhere else while I'm busking, as opposed to having to get a really long cable to plug it into the back of this, just to send the audio from live streaming. Now those two things I am nitpicking because the actual features on this bad boy are insane. Another feature that would have been cool but I just don't think they could do it in a software update is being able to record on the SD card or the audio out for every separate mix, as in multi-track. But that's just down to the limitations maybe of the speaker itself, maybe the innards and the processing that's happening inside because to be able to have that SD card as well as having live streaming or using it as an audio interface it's a game changer. I've played around with a couple of different speakers for both busking and playing in small venues. This is the most put together speaker for an independent artist who's either busking or going to a small venue. You don't need power supply because it'll run on batteries. It's 400 watts, obviously split 350 and 50. It's got a great SPL. It's got some fantastic sounds on there. And this breakaway mixer with a Cat5 cable, I can actually see other companies copying this idea because this is one of those, why did we never think of this moment? It's also one of those situations where they've thought about how many inputs you need. It's not just two inputs like some other speakers, the six inputs here, plus an aux cable, plus Bluetooth. And it's an audio interface. So we can plug this into anything to record the output, which is a stereo mix. It means you don't have to take a separate mixer with you. You don't have to take a separate recorder with you. You just need to get an SD card and get a USB-C cable and you can live stream, you can record, you can perform, you've got effects, you've got a looper, it's battery powered and it's a cracking speaker as well. Now I'd like to thank two different companies for helping me out with this review, for sending this out to me and sending me the accessories like the bag, which is a dedicated bag for the show box. It's got some really, really nice features in and is also a backpack and it can fit a mic stand on there, which is really handy. And also the foot switch as well that you can get as an option for this. But the nice thing is you get the mixer with the speaker, you get the Cat5 cable and you get the adapter to put this onto a mic stand, all with the speaker at no additional cost. Now there's links in the description Box if you want to go and pick one of these up at some of the best places we can get it. In terms of speaker package, I think this one has the most complete package of them all. And if you're looking for a speaker that's at the budget end, have a look at this video, which is the Mackie Thrash 212 Go, which is an absolute monster.